What up guys, Timur here aka Aesthetic Era and today I will answer all your questions you have asked me on um, Instagram. So the first question is from Ben. He's asking, how do you maintain your leanness all year round? Uh, is that carefully counting macros? Uh, yeah, I mean, counting macros is really actually important to um, keep track with what you're doing. If you wouldn't like um, cutting macros how would you know what you're really doing you know um, imagine if you go by guessing you know thinking I'm consuming around this and this much just you know write everything down and then at, at the end of the day start you know counting everything the grams the everything the macros add it together and then see what the result is you will be really surprised if you see the difference between what you were thinking and what it really is you know it's like it's completely different so I would definitely recommend you um, to, to keep track of your macros so you're actually knowing where you're aiming and where you're going next question from Chris Chris is asking me around what body fat do you start getting quads rations and what what is the most effective way to train them well, if you want to have, if you want to see striations, you definitely need to be really low in body fat, like like really really low. Um, I would say definitely around seven percent body fat. But um, even if you are below seven percent of body fat, uh, there's still a chance you won't see any striations, and that's because of the muscle density and muscle maturity. Um, without the uh, the thickness in your muscle and the, the you know you have to be training those muscles like bit for a long time so you develop some maturity in it that's when you see uh, start seeing uh, striations in it uh, next question from Ivan he's asking me we all know you are shredded but how did you build massive arms while being that shredded um Guys, there's no such thing as um, um, if you want to gain mass, you have to be bulky, you have to be fat. You know, I mean, I'm I'm the living proof, I guess. You know, have you ever seen me like being above 10%? No. And did I um, develop during the years? You know, did I gain mass? Yes. Um, it's really you have to just you know just find those. Um, specific macro targets that works for you where you can stay low in body fat you know but not too low uh, low in calories but not too low yet um, still able to gain mass and it, it really works guys it's like um, I've, I've also lately reading articles about it that they prove you know you don't have to be bulky to gain mass also some uh, big uh, big guys have talked about it so definitely check it out um, what supplements you take well, at the moment um, I train uh, really high volume by the way and that's because um, I had really a lot of injuries you know I tore my pack uh, inflammations in my kneecaps both knees um, some issues with my uh, elbow and that's because of uh, you know like training really really uh, heavy weights for the last couple of years so I changed it to into you know more uh, volume training more uh, hypertrophy um, of course you guys know it uh, if you want to train with uh, high volumes you have to do a lot of um, reps a lot of different exercises um, a lot of sets that's 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 really hard you know like also like mentally um, so definitely recommend you then you know take a pre-workout just find out what which pre-workout uh, works best for you for me it's like bus you know I think it's one of the best pre-workouts on the market it's nothing like uh, you know uh, going mental or crazy it just gives you the perfect uh, you know concentration the good energy boost and no crashes so that's why I prefer it um, mm, 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 mm. let's see 
what supplements you take. I just asked that. Uh, oh yeah, that one and beyond BCAs as well. I'm always sipping on my uh, on my BCAs during the whole day. Uh, I consume between the 30 and the 50 grams of BCAs. I just you know take my big uh, big two liter milk can and uh, just you know fill it up, uh, put some scoops, uh, some BCAs in it, and you know go with it. And of course proteins. I also started uh, lately with uh, with uh, creatine, creatine, to increase also a bit more strength. Yeah, that's it, man, for my supplementation. Um, Robbie asking me, when will it be my turn? Soon, bro. <laughs> um, Kylan asking me. Uh, will we take selfies at the booth? So he's meaning the Olympia booth. By the way, check it out. It's uh, booth number one one five five. Be there, guys. Um, yeah, definitely. No, we won't take selfies. We will take swolfies, mate. No, we will. Eating um, eating daily meat versus cooking chicken or turkey. Doesn't matter. Both. Um. What do you do for your obliques? Uh, for my obliques, um, at the moment my favorites are um, windshields. Yeah, windshields are my favorite at the moment. Um, next question: Are you that vascular all the time, or mainly after a pump for a photo shoot? And then between brackets, um, especially the veins on your abs. Are they always popping out that much as on the pictures we see? Very much looking up to you, hope you answer. Um, that's That one is from Georgie. Uh, well, Georgie, um, no, I don't have always those veins over my abs going on. That's really when I go really, really low. When I hit 5% or below, that's when they start, you know, popping out. But uh, I know, like, Lately, on on all my pictures, especially like the last months, uh, you see me really shredded. You know, you see the veins popping all over. But that's <coughs> but that's because um, <coughs> I've been attending all the expos and stuff like that, photo shoots. <coughs> Sorry, and that's why you know <coughs> I stay really conditioned this last month. But um, I think after Olympia, you know, I will go in a little bulk. So then they will most likely disappear so yeah next question <clears throat> is a carb cycle diet good for a uh, good way for a mesomorph to get shredded um yeah definitely um uh, my experience with mesomorphs um that we're doing um carb cycling they really benefit out from it so i definitely recommend to uh, you know play with your play with the carbs also when you want to go if you want to bulk also play with, with the carbs it's like I think a mesomorph has has the best results uh, from doing a carb cycle definitely <coughs> um, okay. when should I take my oxy shred uh, I would recommend you to take it in the morning so on the empty stomach so it's really fast into your blood system also because it provides um, you know energy so uh, you feel you know during the day really energized feeling happy feeling good I swear to God I mean in this oxy shred for so, uh, there's there's a substance that makes you that enhances your mood and first I w first before I ever test it you know I thought you know it must be like you know mm, you know didn't really believe in it but it really really has an effect I mean it really it really makes you happy for some reason I don't get it I mean, what, what they put it in but it really hurts um, in regards to your bulking phase around what macro percentages do you find the ideal for results of your body and where those macro breakdowns ever tweaked or adjusted if so what were the results of the adjustments also would you Happen to be an ectomorph? If so, what would you be your top tips and advice for gaining lean mass? Um, 
during my uh, building phase. Uh, I um, I don't really follow like percentages uh, to begin with. That um, for me, it's always when I shred, I have my protein the highest, then my carbs, then my fats. During my maintenance, it's protein again, carbs, fat, and during my bulk, it's carbs, uh, protein, fat. So out of three, uh, out of out of out of those three. Two is where my protein comes as first, and that's um, when I when I shred and when I stay at maintenance. Um, the what, what they all three have in common is because as uh, the fats they all are like the bottom line. That's because um, I just figured out you know like not just figured out but that's how, how my body works is that when I go really low. Um, um, low on carbs I feel like not really sharp not really conditioned feeling weak while if I increase my fats I have the same effect I feel less sharp I don't feel um, you know that um, that that um, hardness of my muscles and everything so from my own experience um, I rather keep my uh, I play uh, rather play with my carbs much more than with my fats. So I always keep the fats low, and my carbs depends if I'm bulking, if I'm cutting. But I always play with my carbs. Um, fats is always almost on this on on the same level. It's with with cutting, it's it's changing it slightly, and also with uh, bulking, it's, it's uh, changes only slightly. I always keep them to around the same amount of grams. Um, and yes, I'm I'm an ectomorph. So, uh, what would be my tips for an ectomorph to um, uh, gain lean muscle? Um, one, as an ectomorph, we can handle much more carbs than someone that's a meso or an endomorph. So, don't be scared with carbs. I mean, you can take more, much more carbs than maybe some of your friends. You know, so keep that in mind. Um, number two, I would say, I don't know how, how many years you've been lifting, but uh, at my experience, if you are a beginner, as an ectomorph, I would recommend to start lifting heavy first. For some reason, that would work really well for me. Also for my brother and for my cousin, which, uh, which are also uh, ectomorphs. Um, and, you know, they went through the same process and the same... same um, uh, muscle development so I would definitely recommend you know to start heavy try it out I don't know if you if you still uh, still new to the fitness industry um, number three I would say cardio yeah be, be careful with cardio um, I experience it myself if I do cardio you see really really fast changes into in your body so don't don't go crazy on uh, on um, cardio if you really want to gain muscle lean muscle mass you know so I think that's my three best tips I can give you for as an ectomorph somebody's asking me this question can you have your can you have you put your video out on how you do your variation of months reps guys I want to talk about this one for really really quick um, I'm not gonna post anything about my app workout yet or try to explain what the monster apps is because it's quite difficult but I have, I have a surprise for you guys um, how I work my apps like you know the monster apps and shit like that um, it's uh, excuse me for my <laughs> bad language it's um, I developed I, I created a, a a, a tool you know a tool where you can train your abs but not only your abs like I train a lot of my different muscle groups um, when I try to is I isolate them and there's nothing like this on the market yet and I want to keep it like you know like sacred before somebody else is gonna uh, steal it or whatever but um, I started to producing the production of it so um, uh, I'm waiting for get to get the prototypes, you know, for the ones which I'm gonna, you know, put online. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. It's definitely some ga game changing uh, new app exercises because um, there's really nothing uh, nothing like this out there. And this is how I've trained my apps, my my whole, you know, everything, you know. So definitely keep an eye out. I will keep you guys up to date when I'm gonna release the the, the new secret tool. Um, next question. Let me see. Well, this this next question applies as well to just what I said. Do you do you do weighted or free body apps exercises? And what is your rep range on apps? Everything is going to be explained once the secret app tool is out, guys. Mm -mm. Why? What? Yurun asked me why. Why didn't you become a football player? Well, it's a, it's a quite a long story. So I would um, say go check uh, www.simplyshredder.com uh, and find out my interview. And in that interview, I, I explained what the reason was why I didn't go professional. It's football and why I started with fitness. So check it out. Um, Israel was asking me which exercise do you, do you do for your obliques. At the moment, um, my favorite ones are um, the windshields and um, you know, like pulling with the cables, you know, squeezing the obliques. It has also really great effect on me. Um, next question. My boy Yusef is asking me. What do you think of Zs and who is your biggest inspiration? Zs, um, the main difference between um, uh, the period that I discovered Zs before and after was um, that after I really started enjoying doing gym. So, well, he changed my perspective and view on um, why going to the gym and you know why you enjoy it and everything. And it really made like a huge change for me. So, yeah, man, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, he had a big influence on me back in the days. Yeah. And um, who is your biggest inspiration now at the moment? Um, definitely all my followers, man. Like everybody that is following me, you know, saying those nice things, you know, um, telling me, you know. Uh, on Instagram or on ex or at expos when I meet them, telling me how much I inspire them, that I change their lives, that I, you know start improving on themselves. You know that's 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 really the best thing that actually you can get as a compliment and can hear when you are actually you know in the fitness industry. I really yeah I really appreciate it, man. Like this is really my biggest motivation. Like hearing all those nice words, all those nice things, definitely. Um, what's the next question? Somebody's asking me in the Dutch then, um, what do you study and do you buy your quark really from the Aldi? So, quark is actually like, you know, uh, something similar to Greek yogurt but it has a bit more it's more higher in proteins even than Greek yogurt so it's, uh, some, it's really nice and yes um, I buy my Greek uh, my, my quark from uh, from the Aldi and let's see um, I'm, and I'm, I'm studying uh, international business so yeah next question um somebody asking me um what what are your thoughts on teenagers and bodybuilding um yeah what is a teenager for you for some people it's like 12 13 14 and you're a teenager for some people are still a teenager at 19 so um but if you would take you know between 12 and 18 
you have to be careful with um, with your form. That's that's definitely one mo one of the most important things. Your form, because having a shit form while performing your exercises. Because we all know when you're a teenager, you know you're going to the gym. You want to show off. You want to try to lift as heavy as possible. But often this will cause you know like really bad forms. And during this period, if you you know. Um, allow you allow yourself always you know have this shitty form then you will like most likely um, uh, develop chronic um, pains and you know bad posture so definitely like be careful with that so yeah I get I guess I got all the questions right now um, yeah guys thanks for the support um, Definitely keep keep an eye out on my YouTube channel because you know as you guys have noticed now I've been uploading a lot of videos and hopefully I will you know just continue like posting a lot of videos because I really you know want to put more emphasis on my YouTube channel so thanks for the support guys see you till the next time peace